Welcome everybody to the Colorado Rockies franchise on MLB The Show 21. Opening day is here as we get this brand new baseball series underway. We have a major rebuild on our hands with the Rockies and it all starts right here. And what better way to open than against the team everybody's chasing after their 2020 World Series win. Rockies and Dodgers gets us underway in the series. I want to do a quick introduction to this team and we'll spend the first few episodes really getting to know these players a little bit. Obviously the face of this franchise now is Trevor Story. After the trading of Nolan Arenado, he is the star of this team, but for how much longer? With him being a free agent at the end of 2021, and with the Rockies looking at a major rebuild, is he part of the future or not? When it comes to pitching, I think there's a little bit of potential, but a lot of work to do. I really like Herman Marquez as the ace of this team. I think he's a legitimate, really good pitcher. And he's our opening day starter up against Trevor Bauer and the LA Dodgers. Rockies baseball has arrived everybody, we're underway on opening day, and the Dodgers having Justin Turner lead off, I was expecting Mookie Betts here, but the first pitch of the series from Herman Marquez is a slider away, fouled off by Turner, 0-1, Marquez finds the zone with his 96 mile per hour fastball, putting Turner behind in the count 0-2, and then he's waving at the curveball, low and away, a perfect pitch from Marquez, and a great kickoff to the season. Batting second, Chris Taylor wasn't expecting that either. Normally bats toward the bottom of this order for the Dodgers, but a 2-2 two two count from Marquez. And Taylor looks at a fastball, now clocking in at 97. Two quick strikeouts, and then Mookie Betts. Dodgers have him batting third, and Marquez starting a bit more cautiously facing Betts. The 3-2 fouled off. A good battle here against one of the game's superstars. And he looks at a fastball that could have gone either way, but it's called ball four. First base runner for the Dodgers, and that brings up Cody Bellinger. And Marquez once again ahead in the count. 0-2 with another breaking ball below the zone. Excellent command of that pitch here in the first inning as he racks up three strikeouts. And now it's the Rockies' turn to hit against Trevor Bauer. New signing of the Dodgers on a three-year contract and leading off for the Rockies, Rymel Tapia, coming off a productive 2020 season. This one's lifted down the line and it's going to be caught in left. That'll bring up the third baseman, Josh Fuentes. And according to baseball reference, he is the cousin of Nolan Arenado. I didn't know that. 1-2 from Bauer, and that curveball is almost impossible to lay off. Fuentes does, but then looks at a slider, elevated, and Bauer gets his first strikeout, wearing the Dodger blue. That brings up number three hitting Trevor Story. And we really hope we can find a way to build around him because you can't always guarantee that your prospects are going to bring the impact of somebody like Story. 2-1 from Bauer. It's on the ground over to Turner at third. Gathers and fires over to first. Inning over. That's it for the first. Not much offense to start. Just the Mookie Betts walk. And let's take it to the second inning where Corey Seager bats fifth. Really surprised by the order here for the Dodgers, and Seager pulls that one through the shift. Not even close to making the play there. That brings up the catcher, Will Smith, who skies one over towards second base. Pretty routine play, and McMahon misplays it. He recovers and throws Story off the bag, and everybody's safe. Hey, it's opening day. We got to work on some stuff here. I must have hit the jump button or something. But the opening day mistake gives the Dodgers two on for Max Muncy, who fouls this one weakly over to the third base side. Two and two count, again keeping that curveball low, and Muncy chases strike three. Fourth strikeout for Herman Marquez. That'll bring up A.J. Pollock, batting eighth. Pollock swings and misses, fastball in at 95. 
Two and two from Marquez. And that's called a strike on the outside corner. Perfect command of that curveball and the fifth strikeout already. What a start for Marquez here trying to pitch around the error. And now with two aboard, you get Trevor Bauer. He hasn't hit that much in his career, and he's going to strike out as well. That's six strikeouts to start the day for Marquez. Pretty much a perfect start for the ace pitcher. Well, we had the error earlier from Ryan McMahon. Perhaps Will Smith reminding him of that as he steps in for his first at-bat. McMahon's one of the young players I think this team can really build around, but... He chases the pitch low, and then pulled off first base. Good recovery to still get the out by Muncy. But McMahon down on strikes, and that'll bring up the veteran. Here is outfielder Charlie Blackman. Of course, played with him a lot in the Twins franchise. Excited to have him here. Very good all-around hitter, although perhaps not going to hit at the same level he did earlier in his career. And he draws a walk here, working the count and getting our first base runner aboard. Here's a free agent signing now up for the Rockies. They brought in C.J. Crone. One year, $1 million for a guy who has 30 home run upside. Thought that was a really interesting signing for this team. And he wants to hit the ball in the air in Coors Field. This one's going back, but not quite. Even in Coors, that is out in center. Two down. That'll bring up Sam Hilliard, the left fielder, 27 years old, just over a year of Major League experience, 13 home runs in his career entering 2021. This one stays on the ground, and they'll get the lead out at second. And that takes care of the first two innings. No score. That's kind of how you expect opening day to go. You got every team's best pitcher. Sometimes it takes the hitters a bit of time to get adjusted in the new season. There's another strikeout from Marquez. Already seven. Chris Taylor, he's waving. The curveball's untouchable. With this control, you have to keep going back to that pitch. They can't do anything with it. By the way, just like in the Twins franchise towards the end, everything here is on Hall of Fame difficulty. No slider changes. Gameplay slider changes anyway. Mookie Betts. This one's hit sharply and into right center field. Betts reaches for the second time. And that'll bring up Bellinger who struck out in his first trip. No call there. So Bellinger able to get ahead in the count. The 3-1 is ripped into right field. Their third hit in that direction. And it's going to be two on, two down now for the Dodgers. Giving a chance for Corey Seager. He got the Dodgers' first hit of the day and drives the first pitch here to left center field. Back to the wall. This is gone, and the Dodgers strike first. A three-run blast from Corey Seager. 454 feet, and you know here in Denver the ball is going to carry. You're just hoping to avoid this kind of contact. And the Dodgers finally get to Marquez here in the third, their second trip through the order. Let's take it to the fourth inning. Same score, 3-0. And Marquez getting back on track. That curveball, just an unbelievable pitch today. Nine strikeouts. And then Bauer makes it 10, chasing the slider. Ten strikeouts in four innings. I was just hoping that the home run wouldn't throw off the rest of the start, especially in the third inning. Trevor Story bounces this one hard to short. Two ground ball outs for Story to begin his 2021 season. McMahon, two down here in the fourth. Nice cutter there from Bauer as McMahon swings through it. And the one-two will shatter the bat. Bauer makes the catch. No hits for the Rockies through four, and now Bauer getting a nice lead after the Seager home run. Very slow start for the Rockies offense. I didn't expect a whole lot with us opening against Trevor Bauer and it being a new season. Third trip through the order. Marquez gets a ground ball here, fumbled by Fuentes, who recovers to retire Justin Turner. 
Two down, and here is Mookie Betts. He's already reached twice, and we'll send this into center right at Rymel Tapia. We're through five. Really, there was just one mistake to this point for Marquez. And meanwhile, the Rockies offense not getting much done against Bauer. This one's ripped, but it's going foul. Charlie Blackman had the walk earlier. Fouls that one back. Count at two and two. Another good battle, just like his first at-bat. Another 2-2. This time the cutter gets him to swing and miss. It's strikeout number five for Bauer. Not as many as Marquez, but no hits to this point for the Rockies and not getting any closer with this CJ Crone pop-up. Two pitches up in the zone. He's hit them both in the air, but 0 for 2 for CJ. Sam Hilliard now. Not swinging at that fastball. Count runs full for him. And the 3-2 is upstairs. Another walk for the Rockies. That puts a man on for catcher Dom Nunez. We'll see him start against righties. Against lefties, it'll be Elias Diaz who gets the start. But Nunez, 0-2, drives it up the middle. Diving play by Seager, and they get the out at second. The biggest hit, and now defensive play for the Dodgers. Supplied by shortstop Corey Seager. And Bauer's got a no-hitter going on opening day through five. Herman Marquez pitching into the sixth. Not even at 80 pitches to this point. Facing Bellinger, who's one for two. He's swinging through the sinker. Can't throw the curveball every time. They'll eventually figure it out. That'll bring up the catcher, Will Smith. That one's hit sharply. Starting to see some sharp fouls from these hitters. The 1-1 is going to get through again to that right side. Smith aboard, and that one's airmailed, and that's trouble. Backed up by Nunez, but an extra base here. That's two errors on opening day. Got to get my fielding on track. So a runner in scoring position. Max Muncy looks at a fastball. 95 miles per hour. Marquez ahead, 1-2, jammed over to third, ranging, Fuentes, the throw across is in time, and the Dodgers get nothing here in the sixth. What a play by Josh Fuentes, showing off a strong arm. The Broncos might be calling for him to get some reps at quarterback in training camp. Let's go to the sixth, where we are still being no hit. Top of the order, up, Rymel Tapia. All the Rockies have to this point are a couple walks and sharp fouls. Oh, and one back up the middle. That's a line drive base hit, and we will not be no hit on opening day. Thankfully, Toppy has got the first hit of the series. That'll bring up Fuentes, showing off some impressive defensive skills today. Two and one. That's on the corner. Call the ball. Three and one to Fuentes. Inside. These pitches are close for Bauer. You know he wants to get those, but we draw our third walk of the day, putting two on with one down. And here is Trevor Story. With Arenado in St. Louis, the Rockies are relying even more on the star shortstop, who will not chase that curveball out of the zone. Story gets ahead two and one. And he drives this out to right field. This one's got some carry. Back at the wall. This game is tied. Story with a three-run shot. The Rockies finally get some offense in the sixth, and they make this a brand new ball game. On opening day, we have both ace pitchers really pitching well, and then each giving up a three-run homer. Suddenly, a new game begins in the sixth inning. The first two at-bats, Story grounded out, pulling the ball, and now showing some opposite field power. 3-3, three to three, bottom six, and now Ryan McMahon steps in. That ball's driven out to right center field. Back it goes at the wall. Ryan McMahon gives the Rockies the lead. 4-3 Colorado. Back-to-back -back jacks off Trevor Bauer on back-to-back -back pitches. What an opening day moment for the Rockies. 
Bauer goes from throwing a no-hitter to losing the no-hitter to giving up a game-tying home run and then losing the lead entirely. Everything unraveling for the Dodgers in the sixth. And now, who even cares about that error earlier? Rockies up 4-3. And now, we bring the bullpen into the equation. Marquez gave us six great innings. Chichi Gonzalez first out of the bullpen for the Rockies. And this is into right field, sharply hit single. I have a lot of concerns with this bullpen and if they're going to be able to hold up this year and protect leads. Bauer leaves the game as well. Luke Rayleigh pinch hitting and bouncing it over to McMahon. Four, six, three, double play. Great defensive play again for the Rockies. We'll take it bottom seven now and first out of their bullpen, former ace starting pitcher David Price. I think he's going to have a very nice role in this Dodgers bullpen, but Dom Nunez here with a lefty-lefty hit going to right field. He's aboard, and we're going to our bench now. Garrett Hampson, and we're going to have him playing a lot. Not here on opening day, but... He'll be starting against lefties and getting a lot of playing time, even if he's not starting. He has a lot of good speed, but you got to get him on base to show it off. And he strikes out two down here, bottom seven for Price as we get Rymel Tapia up. Got the offense going for us and then chases one inside. Price gets a couple strikeouts and takes care of the seventh. In the eighth inning, in comes Michael Givens who I think is going to be getting a lot of our high leverage innings. He is the setup man here in the eighth today. Opening against Chris Taylor, he swings and misses at the elevated fastball. And the one-two from Gibbons. He's behind the heat at 96, another perfect pitch. Here is the starter comparison, and Herman Marquez outpitched Trevor Bauer today against the Dodgers lineup. Such an impressive outing and in line for the win if the Rockies can protect it. This is sharply hit into left field and Betts is aboard for the third time. Cody Bellinger now with Betts on first. Fastball clips the inside corner and Givens gets ahead in the count. Mookie Betts takes off. Nunez throw a bit low and they get Betts at second base. I did not like Dom Nunez's chances of throwing out Mookie Betts right here. It wasn't a great throw, but still in time. Massive throw out for Dom Nunez. Back to Bellinger. 3-2, two, two away. And he draws the walk. Tough take there. And how big is that now with Betts no longer on base? Could have been two on, one down potentially. Seager went around there. Of course, he hit the home run earlier and drives another one deep to the outfield. Back goes Tapia in center to make the catch on the warning track. And we'll take this lead into the ninth. But against the Dodgers, some insurance would really be nice. Trevor Story can't touch the cutter of Price. The 1-1. Now you get the curveball low and inside. Another swing and miss. The 1-2 is swung on and missed. Price throwing all his pitches here at Story Low, and he can't hit any of them. Here's McMahon, not chasing that curveball, or changeup rather. He gets ahead in the count, and that's going to be a four-pitch walk. With McMahon on first, that brings up Charlie Blackman, another lefty-lefty matchup, and he'll drive this in the air out to center. Routine play for Bellinger. And we're headed to the ninth on opening day with a one-run lead, trying to close it down against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Here comes closer Daniel Bard. Facing the six, seven, and eight hitters for the Dodgers. That's a big swing and miss on the slider. Bard gets ahead of Will Smith, one, two, and then hits him in the leg. Just lost control of that pitch and the leadoff man aboard now for the Dodgers. That brings up Muncie working on an 0 for 3 and falling behind. Bard 0 2. Muncie chases the slider for strike three. Tough opening day for Max Muncie. 
with one down. It's A.J. Pollock's turn. He looks at a fastball high in the zone, 97. One, two from Bard. Oh, my, that almost hit him. He can't control his changeup today. Two and two from Daniel Bard. That's lifted out to left field. Routine play. Two down in the ninth. And that means the Dodgers have to go to their bench now to extend this game. And it's going to be Edwin Rios coming off the bench. The lefty who hit eight homers in the shortened 2020 season. Bard, first pitch in there. A fastball at the knees. 1-1 one, one from Bard. Ripped foul and the Dodgers down to their last strike. 1-2. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did! The Rockies win on opening day! A dramatic come from behind victory and a perfect start to the Rockies franchise. That was an exciting way to open the season. You know I'm always looking for these fun moments and it doesn't take long. A four run sixth leads the Rockies to a win only one scoring hit for the Los Angeles Dodgers. A great start today for Herman Marquez, who struck out 11. And then the bullpen came out. They did their jobs. We battled through a few mistakes today. And we record the 4-3 win. That was so much fun. It's good to be back playing baseball again. I've been excited to play more franchise on MLB The Show 21. And a start like this only makes me want to bring out a whole lot more of it. I love your feedback down below. I haven't made baseball franchise content like this in around a year and a half now. So I'm trying to get used to making baseball content again and having my commentary on point for it. Hope you enjoyed this first episode. Not every video is going to be focused on one game. Obviously, I pay attention to the minor leagues and I want to go through multiple games at a time in most cases. We got to get through these 162 somehow. And of course, there'll be some simulated games that I'm just hoping that every episode can do something a little bit differently and remain very entertaining throughout long seasons of baseball. But looking forward to your feedback, everybody, and there's much more on the way. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the action. Subscribe to the channel for more of the Rockies franchise. And have a great day, everybody. I appreciate your support.